Okay, so it's Cameron here for a tutorial on earth bending. As you can see in this video, I'll play right now. Okay, so um, basically you need to get, just get your basic shots. I've already cut mine down to size. Not just me. Ear bending or earth bending. <laughs> okay, so. Once you've got those all cut down and stuff ready to go, you'll need to get another piece of footage that is in this folder here. Just a picture of your rock or whatever, your earth bending. Yep. Okay, so once you've got that, you will need to get a program that's called GIMP or maybe Photoshop or something like that. GIMP's a free one, that's why I use that one. Um, and you can get that in the link right here click that, go to the website, download it, and after you've done that, you could right install it and stuff. Once you've installed it, just right click on your image, and it should wait. No, it doesn't. <coughs> oh well, okay, if it doesn't have, usually it would have edit with GIMP in this part, it just says edit, which takes you to paint. <laughs> yeah, so it should have edit with GIMP, but it doesn't, so I will load up GIMP. GIMP 2. Like that. And once it opens, okay. Once that's open, you will need to drag in your photo into this part here. Okay. So this is my thing. Um, usually these tools will be on the side. I'll switch this around for you. I just switched them at one point. Don't know why. Okay. Oh, I'll just full screen that because I like having it full screen. And okay, select this tool here. This is the one that you use to select your image. So you go around the side, just clicking once at a time, <coughs> making little dots around the side. And then once you've finished this, you might just skip through this. Okay, yeah. Um, I have realised that there's this thing down here. Don't worry about that. We can remove that. I'll show you how after I've cut it out. So I'll keep cutting out. Okay, so once you click, um, click that last, that starting dot again, it will turn into this kind of zigzaggy thing. But if you go ahead and click delete now, it will delete the actual image. So I'll undo that. Um, what you want to do is go into select and invert that so that it will delete the outside. So now when you click delete or um, edit, cut, or whatever, it will delete the background. Oh, but for some pictures, you might need to right click on the image and add alpha channel because otherwise it's not transparent background. When it's transparent, it will have these funny squares. Yeah, so you just go get do that and then click delete again and it will work. Okay. So, let's just select none. And now there's this image, but it's got this funny green leaf here. And it's just like, oh, why is that there? Because it's a flying rock and it's not right. So, what you have to do is get this. <coughs> I think it's this tool. Yep, clone tool. And you click your first point with your click and control and the button and left click. And then you just draw and it should cover that up pretty nicely. See? Okay. There we go. Never would have known it was there. So I will go back into another tool. More normal tool. Paintbrush. Oh wait. <coughs> now that thing's gone. Um, now we can export this. So I go file. Uh, save as. It's already in the right fo folder. Just need to change this to PNG. And if you want to change the name, then we can do that. Okay. Make sure it's PNG, because if it's JPEG or something else, it will not be have a transparent background. We need a transparent background. Okay, so make sure it's PNG and go save. Then this thing will come up. Make sure this compression level is at zero. Everything else should be right. And click save. Okay, so now I will close this down. Thing. Yep, close that down. And the rock is here with transparent background. Um, drag that into your video. There it is. Okay. 
Now you'll need to put it into your footage. So this needs to be in right from the start. Drag it to the size of the first cut. That's right. Now, resize this by going down to the down arrow on this and clicking transform. I didn't say that. Um, okay. Now you drag the corners, match it up with your clip. Might actually rotate that. No, because the light's going the wrong way then. Okay. It's just it's not sitting straight. That might be alright. Okay, um, if you press control and move these points, you can get a unmatched one, so you can kind of mould it. And if you do that, you can mould that like that and stuff. But I'm not going to do that one. Oopsie. Resize that. You can't really see because my picture looks really blurry in the proxy file. So. Yeah, I think that's alright. Yeah, and you go kind of to the edge of this to rotate it. So it's, that's the resize, and then you get slightly off the edge and it rotates it with this click. That's how I rotated it. Um, that's how you import that. Um, something else we might want to do is add a shadow. This is a wee bit more confusing than most programs. Um, you have to go make a new video track. Why's that? Make a new video group. Oh. Okay, whatever. Put in the video group. Okay. Copy that. Control C. B. Okay, and now it is down underneath it. It's got the exact same thing in both parts. So I will click on this one. I'll hide this one. So it's just that one. Then I've got properties, effects, add effect. Brightness and contrast. If you bring this right down to zero, I'll make it black. <coughs> then you want to click the down arrow, opacity, and make it slightly see through. So you can see where I'm going with this, probably. Okay, go into uh, properties again, click on the actual video, effects, add effect, um, filter effects. Oh, I know, Gaussian blur, the other one. Um, click the first one, add it, should be good. Um, maybe I'll just make it really insane. Okay, maybe like that. And I'll transform this now. I'll turn on this one. Okay. Transform this by holding control and pulling the corners down to the perspective of the view. I've got really no guides of where the perspective is, so I'm kind of just having to work off it. Um, work with it. Okay, so, um, done that. There was just bit of glitch there, sorry, um, yeah, with my recording software, I've only got the trial, so it only allows me to do 10 minutes of recording, but, yeah, okay, so I've finished that, a wee bit laggy now that I've got a few layers on it, um, and, yeah, so that's that, and now, the wee bit more interesting part, making it move around and stuff, um, so laggy, but sorry about this. Okay, so I've hit the ground. I think. Okay, and the rock comes up. Um. Yeah, so it's not too dif difficult. Um. What you need to do is click on the down arrow on your rock. Go transform. Um. Add a keyframe where you are about to make it go up, add another keyframe of when it is up in the sky and move your thing up. Okay.
Okay, and you s the shadow usually would be smaller when something gets further from the ground, so I will go into this. Go opacity. To the, uh... Let's see, go into the skin, transform. Go find where that keyframe was put. Okay, and go into the opacity here. And put the keyframe down. Okay. I'm going to go into this keyframe again, and... Up, see these... Ah! They should be not transform points, they should be... Opacity points. Opacity points, that sounds so weird. Okay. Now pull down that second point. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, my voice, I'm just kind of got a cold. So, yeah. Okay, so if it played, <laughs> it would get lower as it got higher. See? Okay, you can play around with this by like clicking on the first point and going quadric slow, and maybe doing the same to the actual transform things of the rock. It is what I did in the actual video. It's just more gradual going up. I can't really see it though because the computer's lagging. Okay, I'll just close programs. Um, close internet, and that's all that I can close. Must be my screen recorder making a lag. <coughs> okay. So, now you've done that, it's risen up. You want it to fly out of the screen. Wait a second. and here okay so add the point go quadratic slow quadratic slow I mean why is nothing happening oh There we go. And now it should be out. Whoop. Out. There we go. Okay. So if I play that through, well, if you play that through, because my thing's so laggy, that would go up and fly out. Um, that's how you do that. So sorry about the leg. <laughs> okay, let's. No, I don't worry about that. Um. Okay, so basically you do the same thing to make it go up and down. You just go into this, transform, and add keyframes, and then do it up and down, up and down, up and down. So it looks like it's hovering. And then over and. This part where it's flying and hitting you, you just put um, a new one, transform points, and drag it in. Keyframe key it and drag it until it hits you, and then that's when you fall and hit the ground and you come down and land on the ground. And you do the same for adding blood or whatever, you, like, probably not doing what I'm doing, but. What I did for the blood was just make a new track, put the blood in, um, transformed it to fit my head, and made it move with me as I fell down so it didn't look like it was staying there and I was falling down while it was squirting out. And I just got those, that blood squirt off, um, off what's it called? Ah, oh, well, I'll have it up on the screen now, the website's name. Okay, and yeah, that's it. And then for this one, it was just me walking away, and it was alright. Um, I also color corrected this rock in this footage here. If it will load up the preview. Yep. And I went into the effects, add effect, 
color balance. And I think I've done that one. Yeah. And you can also play with those. Oh, wait, no. No, not that one. Okay. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. It was a long time ago. When I made this video. I think I might have made it really subtle like that. Yeah, I think that might have been what I done. <coughs> yeah, so because it's laggy, I couldn't do this tutorial properly. Sorry about that. Um. Yeah, that's that's basically that. Thank you for watching. Um, this has been a very long tutorial, like almost 20 minutes. I'll stop this now, really quick. Um. I just the other day, like uh, for the last wee while, I've been getting views really fast. Thanks for that. Mostly from my Angry Birds video. Um, sorry, I haven't been getting out videos more often. I have kind of been like doing stuff, making game called Built. Might make a preview on that. Um, yeah. So you're making game using Game Maker. It's a good program. Um. Should get it, yeah. Um, really wanting the new one, but yeah, new game maker studio. It's really cool, but um, I can't get that. I don't have any money. So yeah, thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe. Thank you. Ah, uh, see ya.